Helen. All right, John, do it. How's the ten pull? 感谢旅行者们一直以来的支持与热爱。在四点一版本期间，签到活动“欢赏刘华”将会开启。旅行者们可以通过每日签到，获得最多奖励及其他道具奖励，不容错过。同时，我们。So it's a Risley not being standard. I don't know. I don't know, man. It is what it is, I guess. We did a pre-release analysis on Risley. Yes and no. I did, and then I kind of just gave up. Is he that bad? He's not that bad. It's just... Imagine if Sino's kit was the exact same as it is, right? But... No, actually... Hmm... Who's a better example? Imagine if Raiden's E didn't generate particles. <laughs> or like... Oh, you know what, actually? Okay, I know, I know, I know what. Imagine if Child didn't have this passive, right? And his literal only way to ap apply Riptide was either a charge shot... Or... The range burst. Right? It wouldn't make him much worse because you kind of want to open with range burst and his rotations anyways, right? But it would be so cringe, you know? Like, so cringe! Like, what the fuck? And then they made it so that he gets the passive at C1 on top of this. All right, that's what they did with Risley. They basically took a functional kit, took out one of the things that made it, you know, make sense, make, that made it coherent, and slapped it on C1 instead of C0. It's not that he's bad at C0, it's just frustrating that they did that. Hu Tao is not a good comparison. Because Hu Tao is good at C0. What C1 does is it doesn't enable you to do a thing. It just reduces your stamina drain. Hu Tao's dynamic is she is using stamina as a resource for her damage. And what her C1 does is it effectively gives her more of that resource. You could say that Risley uses HP as a resource for his damage, and C1 gives him more HP. But, like, at a baseline, even if you never get hit, you run out of HP faster than you regenerate it. Whereas with Hu Tao, at a baseline, with jump cancels, your E expires before you run out of stamina, and your stamina's back to full by the time you do your next E. The C1 doesn't enable her to start working, right? It's not like without C1, you finish your Hu Tao rotation by doing like N5 because you're out of stamina, unless you fuck something up. For most people. I know there's exceptions if you're speedrunning and you want to do some dash cancels at C0, but like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? It, it's just frustrating, because like, effectively what's going to happen is he isn't going to have an Ascension 1 passive. Because you just can't sacrifice... You can't sacrifice uptime on your E just to get one, maybe two charge attacks to be enhanced. So you're just going to play him with a healer like Bennett. And then he'll never be under 60% unless something goes really wrong. So you ju he just doesn't have a passive. And that's just cringe to me. Could have lowered Risley to drain... Uh, Risley HP drain to make his combo HP positive. Yeah, like... Reduce the HP drain from 4.5% to like... 3%. And you effectively fixed his kit. Hello Zajif, sorry for writing this at the wrong time. I wanted to ask about Noonvolt. How does Nuvolt compare to a Yato at C0? No way. I heard he has a higher personal damage, but in teams like Hyperglue or Vape, 
doesn't teams is damage matter more since he is not um effectively what's gonna end up happening is he is going to sheet better than Ayato in almost every situation but you do have to keep in mind that with Ayato you have a little bit more room to fuck things up because more of your damage is passive because of your burst right and he has bigger AoE coverage. Like, his AoE is just a lot bigger, right? I think for most people, Nivida is going to be better than Ayato. But he's not just, like, straight up better in every situation. Last one of the day. Perhaps. And I insist on the halves. This will be good. I will not speak. If I speak, I am in big trouble. I will not speak. It's time to recline, chat. <laughs> Choose your fighter. <laughs> okay, I mean, l l let's talk about what we got. So, anniversary rewards. Uh, I mean, honestly, what are, what even is there to say about that anymore, right? It's the same thing every every year. We have a ten pool and we have sixteen hundred primos in the mail, right? It's not. It just, it doesn't matter. It, it's... The thing about Genshin is that free pulls are, like, fake. Like, at any given point, they can decide, okay, we're gonna give travelers a thousand less primos from events this patch. Or a thousand more primos from events this patch. When you're given 20 wishes for free, it's just them having data on how much they can give free wishes without it affecting their sales negatively.
And I don't think it's ever going to feel like a reward to me. You know? And like, I'm not saying that it's bad and you should be angry about it. But it's definitely not, like... The only reason the reward has value is because they're artificially gating the content that you have access to without having to spend money. And it, it just, it doesn't feel like... It doesn't look like a, oh, wow, thank you, community, for all you've done for us. It looks more like a... Hey, you want to get some free drugs?